Today in ID5's myth-busting video series, we're going to talk about CTV. CTV is a cookie-less channel. There are no cookies on connected televisions. So does it mean that there is no identity problem in CTV? To address this myth, I have Paul Gubbins with me. Paul is the former VP of Marketing and Strategy at Publica and one of the best known experts in the CTV space. Paul, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. So Paul, let's start with a simple question. What is CTV inventory today in Europe? Good question, Matt. So um, the way I think about CTV inventory in Europe, there's, there's several different um, strands of inventory. You've got broadcasters who are now increasingly launching BVOD services, and that stands for Broadcaster Video On Demand. Okay. And that's all of the high quality programming and content that audience has been used to watching in a linear way. So but ITV Plus. Absolutely, I, you've got ITVX, Channel 4, Sky. There's a whole bunch of them in yep. the UK, for instance, that now enable their inventory to be watched on demand. And that's what we refer to as BVOD. Then you've got AVOD platforms. An example there would be Tubi. They recently launched yep. in the UK from the US. Um, I think they've got a catalog of over 20,000 different shows now that can be watched on demand. Uh, then you've got fast services, and that stands for free ad-supported streaming television. And where you see a lot of development around fast is specifically from the TV manufacturers. People like Samsung, people like LG, um, they're investing heavily in those services. And that's content, again, that's all ad-supported. It's delivered in a linear way. So when you turn on those televisions, you've got an electronic programming guide. You can yeah. flick through a multitude of different channels, and they're all showing premium shows, um, highly curated content for audiences that increasingly are suffering kind of SVOD fatigue. Yeah. They don't have the budget to, to continue to subscribe to a yeah. multitude of yeah. different services. And all of the data points and all the stats are showing us that other than sports, people don't necessarily want to be paying for television content mm -hmm. here in Europe or further afield in the US. So broadcasters are leaning in with their BVOD services. You've got the AVOD apps, again, that are predominantly launching from the US, but increasingly available to European TV audiences and discoverable within those TV app stores. And then you've got the fast channels that are being developed specifically by the TV OEMs and others, um, again, to cater for that market that want to lean into highly curated content, premium content, but they don't necessarily want to pay for it. Uh, let's get straight into the topic. How do brands today uh, 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 optimize, target, measure campaigns in CTV where there are no cookies effectively, right? That is true. There are absolutely no third party cookies in CTV at the moment. It's predominantly an app based ecosystem. So the two main forms of identity in CTV are the household IP and the deterministic device IDs that are passed by each of the apps. On, on the smart television. So, so tell us about those device IDs. So uh, things like Roku, Pass and ID? Absolutely. And it's also important to be aware that a lot of the operating systems in CTV are very different from those that power the desktop and mobile space. You've got Tizen that powers the Samsung ecosystem. You've got WebOS on the LG TVs. Yep. So it's a very different environment. But the concept of identity is just as important. Uh, those on the buy side need to manage things like frequency. Yep. They need to manage targeting through DSPs and SSPs. Also important to be aware that in CTV, it's very much about household targeting rather than individual targeting. And that's what we're very much used to, right? In the, yeah. the desktop and the mobile space. Yeah. So you've got- So identity is still important, yeah. but it's a slightly different framework. No cookies at play, obviously, right? Correct. But still a notion of identity because you need to be able to recognize the, the, the household, the device on which you're going to be delivering a that. Absolutely. That There's been a perception to date that identity isn't really a challenge for those in the CTV ecosystem. Again, because the operating systems that power OEMs um, haven't really publicly said yet that they plan to block or to obfuscate the passing. Um, but as we know, IP, we don't know how stable that will be long term. Yep. So those that are investing in um, buying streaming inventory through a multitude of different programmatic platforms are constantly trying to figure out what is the, the most privacy compliant way of doing that and the best way to do that so they can manage holistic frequency mm -hmm. across each of the different streaming services they're trying to engage their audiences in. Yeah, and, and as we know, frequency is a massive issue because we've all seen like 27 yep. times the same ad across different channels. Let's talk about privacy for a minute. Um, uh, on the web, there's now a prevalence of uh, consent management platforms, so users are able to express their their agreement or, yep. or disagreement to being you know uh, to being identified, being recognised. How does that work on the in the in the CTV world? So, so very similar. Um, there are consent management platforms in CTV as well, and if you're watching an AVOD or fast service in Europe, you've probably come across one of those notifications. That's because um, TV manufacturers with advertising businesses 
or the Avod apps on those TVs still have to adhere to the same privacy regulation that desktop publishers and mobile publishers yep. have to adhere to. So more and more now are adopting consent management platforms to ensure that they comply with the IEB transparency and consent framework mm -hmm. because more and more of those ad-supported publishers are looking to sell their inventory in a programmatic way. And many demand side platforms and many SSPs obviously want to adhere yep. with, the, with the privacy regulations. And they only really want to target inventory that's being passed with the correct TCF parameters attached. So again, if you're watching a streaming service in Europe, chances are at some point you're going to see yeah, that notification so. that yeah. lets you know that there's a multitude of different vendors working behind yep. the scenes to ensure that you get targeted and relevant advertising to ensure that you can watch your, your favorite shows free of charge because it's ad supported, right? That's that's the, the, the whole kind of business model that's powering all those content and services. So let's talk about those legacy methods, right? You mentioned device IDs, you mentioned IP address, we have rotation issues. We have a consent kind of framework that is kind of slowly being rolled out. So like we have the, 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 the ecosystem kind of parameters that are in place. How is the market evolving and how, how and are they embracing alternative identifiers and how is that kind of transition coming about? I, uh, I think the real value there for, for streaming publishers that want to attract programmatic demand is about making sure that they can support the right identifiers that those on the buy side want to target. And we've seen time and time again the big demand side platforms and the big SSPs supporting IDs like ID5 and others to make sure that they can bring increased addressability to the streaming inventory that they're targeting. So again, many streaming services today will be supporting a consent management platform to, to ensure that they can extract yep. privacy in a compliant way. But the smart publishers are also working with ID vendors to pass the IDs that those on the buy side need to increase ad spend with those streaming services. To make sure that a, 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 a inventory, CTV inventory remains addressable, remains measurable, 100%. remains optimizable. Well, the, the dynamic that you have today in CTV, it's the, the site, sound and motion that marketeers have historically loved about yep. traditional TV, but increasingly with the precision of digital targeting. And as more ad supported inventory is traded in a programmatic way, those on the buy side are going to expect the same types of addressability and targeting capabilities that they've had in desktop and mobile. But they're not going to be able to do that unless those identifiers are present in the bid requests that they're being sent from the supply side platforms. So again, the smart publishers today that are looking to future proof their monetization strategies are thinking very much about identity and how they can pass that in a privacy compliant way. Because many are already discussing whether or not they can be dependent on household IPs and the device IDs. Because as we know, um, streaming publishers still, like we've already discussed, operate within the same privacy framework the desktop and mobile publishers have to operate within. And there's also a benefit of having a, an in identity infrastructure that spans across channels so that you can do uh, you know, audience onboarding At across different channels, you can do holistic measurement across channels. Absolutely, and you know, CTV is a very powerful way to engage with audiences, but many brands realize that it's just one channel. Yeah. Um, so in order to tie up that holistic frequency across all screens, um, it's super important that streaming, streaming publishers now are adopting uh, privacy compliant IDs yeah. so they can maximize their yield, they can operate within that privacy compliant framework and they can make sure that they future proof their monetization strategies again because all of the agencies, all of the DSPs, all of the SSPs want to work with streaming publishers that support IDs mm -hmm. because they know if a publisher passes their inventory with the correct parameters attached the likelihood is that those on the buy side are going to want to target it. Yeah, of course. Paul, thank you very much for help, to help, uh, helping us bust that myth. <laughs> uh, so yes, CTV is already a cookie-less environment. There's never been cookies on CTV. It doesn't mean identity solution and alternative IDs are not relevant and don't provide value to the CTV ecosystem. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.